Hello everyone. Here's a brief update. Uh, first of all, I've graded everything up through September 24 in terms of assignments. So you'll see a grade in there for your assignments, provided that you've submitted them. Uh, I will be grading the discussion posts this week, and we'll have that done by the end of this week. Uh, that's item number one. Item number two is your first test, which for some reason did not show up on the schedule. That said, there, that shouldn't be that big of a problem. You will have between October 1, when the test will go live, and October 9, when the test will cut off at 11.59 p.m. That's a lot of time. You need to complete your test within that time frame. What are the expectations for the tests? Well, let's do a brief review. I will also provide you with access to the video links uh, in all in one place so that you can review uh, the videos as well. First, uh, let's go back to chapter one. The quadrant. Be able to place four of the theorists we've reviewed on this quadrant and justify with a definition and example your second question uh, has to do with uh, Marx and Durkheim. Marx and Durkheim both identified and defined their theory of the labor market in what was early industrial society. Be able to compare and contrast their very different approaches to labor and the labor market. The third point that I would make is that Simmel and W.E.B. Du Bois both discuss how segments of the population, minority segments, are constructed differently than the majority segments of the population. You'll need to be able to compare and assess how uh, Simmel's other and W.E.B. Du Bois's uh, double consciousness compare conceptual ideas about how, how people who are, quote, othered, unquote, have to negotiate uh, their place in society. Max Weber and Marx talk about social stratification, but they do so in very different ways. You're going to need to compare and contrast Marx and Weber's conception of social stratification. Oh, and there's one more question. It has to do with George Herbert Mead. Uh, how does George Herbert Mead define? Okay, so this will take us from the beginning chapter through the chapter in your textbook on George Herbert Mead. What will the contours of this test look like? Well, first of all, you'll have open book, open source, open references. So you will have five questions on the test, each worth, I think, 3.4 points each, adding up to 16 points. Please check the math on that. So for each of these five questions, this is an essay test, an essay test. I expect you to write an essay, not a short answer, not a sentence or two. That will not get you a very good grade. Okay, I want you to think, write, take the time to work on this exam, take the time to write correctly on it, okay? You need to write correctly. So with this in mind, please take the time necessary. I'm allowing you a lot of time, and the test is untimed. That said, what you're going to need to do is to take the test before the night. Don't wait till an hour before the test goes offline to take it, or you will not do well. Hopefully this will help you. Uh, I look forward to reading uh, your excellent work.